Hi everyone, Jory here, and for today's Piglet's News, we're gonna talk about how the Central Bank of Norway built its own national digital currency. But before anything else, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more crypto and NFT news. So the Central Bank of Norway has hit a major milestone in digital currency efforts by releasing the open source code for the country's Central Bank Digital Currency or CBDC sandbox. Available in GitHub, the sandbox is designed to offer an interface for interacting with the test network, enabling functions like minting, burning, and transferring ERC20 tokens. The current version of the code does not support the major Ethereum wallet MetaMask by design and is only privately accessible by users with appropriate credentials. In addition to deploying the appropriate smart contracts and access controls, the Norgas Bank sandbox includes a custom front-end and network monitoring tools like BlockScout and Grafana. The front-end also shows a filterable summary of transactions on the network. The Norgas Bank took to Twitter on Friday to mention that Norway's CBDC prototype infrastructure is based on Ethereum technology. The central bank previously made a reference to Ethereum in a CBDC-related blog post in May. The Norgas Bank stated that the Ethereum Ethereum cryptocurrency system is expected to provide a core infrastructure for issuance, distribution, and destruction of digital central bank money, which is also referred to as DSP. The bank has said that the prototype will be used to test a number of important features for DSP. The Norges Bank officially announced plans to conduct CBDC tests in April of last year, expecting to find a preferred CBDC solution by trialing different designs for a period of two years. In November of 2021, the central bank issued a working paper referring to possible CBDC designs, including those based on blockchains like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin SV. The Norgas Bank emphasized that interoperability was one of the most important problems while considering various technical solutions. This news came amid the International Monetary Fund releasing a report indicating that 97 countries, or more than half of global central banks, were exploring or developing CBDCs as of July of 2022. On the other hand, only two countries have fully launched CBDC projects so far, including Nigeria and the Bahamas, according to the IMF. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that one. And if you did, please leave us a like and a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.